subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. Welcome to Kids vs. Planets, The Solar System Explained by RedCatReading.com Mayday, mayday, mayday. Timmy, I need your help, said Jupiter Jones. Jupiter Jones was down. Roger that, Jupiter Jones. I'm coming, said Timmy. Timmy flew the spaceship at the terrible space pterodactyl. Timmy aimed the laser and fired. Direct hit. The terrible space pterodactyl screeched and flew away. Hmm. Timmy and Jupiter Jones saved Earth and all the planets again. Timmy loved space, and every night before bed, he would say, Good night, planets. I'll visit you all someday. Hmm. <coughs> Whoosh! Crash! Smash! Bash! Timmy jumped out of bed. He looked outside and saw a terrible space pterodactyl. Impossible! A terrible space pterodactyl? Here at my house, he said. Timmy went outside. It was a real space pterodactyl, but it didn't look so terrible. It looked hurt. Suddenly, the space pterodactyl's chest opened and things started coming out. They weebled and wobbled as they came closer and closer. Aliens, shouted Timmy. Scary, airy aliens from outer space. Hello, Earthling, said the robot head in a kind voice. My name is Zookbar. Call me Zuki, the robot said as he put on his head. What do you want? asked Timmy. Tom, the terrific space pterodactyl, is out of fuel, said Zuki. Can you help us? Pterodactyls love to eat, started Timmy. Fish. He pointed to his dad's frozen fish truck. I can help, said Timmy. Zoot zoot, said Zuki. Frozen fish are his favorite. Oh. Timmy saw an alien of half fire and half ice. The alien could not speak. Oh. Fire and ice... I will call you Frice, said Timmy. Frice didn't look well. Earth was too hot for his ice and too cold for his fire. Hmm. Let's go home, said Timmy. But which planet is super hot and super cold, thought Timmy. Mercury, said Timmy, the planet of fire and ice. Mercury is close to the hot sun. So part of its surface is super hot, but part of its surface is also super cold. Frice, you're going home, said Timmy. Tom, the terrific space pterodactyl, flew Frice to Mercury, the planet of fire and ice. They didn't stay long because it was too hot and too cold. Meep, meep, beep, beep, peep, beep. Click, clack, cluck. The aliens started pushing and poking, meeping and peeping. They wanted something. I see, said Timmy. You all want to go home too. We'll go in order, yes. That's what we'll do, said Timmy. Next is the planet of volcanoes. Help Timmy find the alien that lives on the planet of volcanoes. You are going home next, little volcano, said Timmy. What is your name? Vovololo, said the little volcano. I will call you Volo. Volo from the planet of volcanoes, said Timmy. Let's go home, Volo. Tom, the terrific pterodactyl, flew Volo to Venus, the planet of volcanoes. The little volcano was happy. It puffed bright green smoke from the top of his head. Tom, the terrific space pterodactyl, flew past Earth. Timmy stared at Earth. It was beautiful, big, bright, and blue. He thought of home and his family, but there was work to do. 
They arrived at Mars, the red planet. Which alien lives on Mars, thought Timmy. Help Timmy find the alien that lives on Mars, the red planet. Got you, said Timmy. Meep meep, said the little red alien. I will call you Marty the Martian from Mars. Let's go home, said Timmy. Meep meep. <laughs> Marty was happy, but the asteroid was not. <laughs> arr, arr, shouted the angry asteroid. Let's take him home fast, said Zuki. <laughs> Tom the terrific space pterodactyl flew fast, and soon the angry asteroid was home in space. Now it wasn't angry. The angry asteroid even smiled as it floated away. Next stop, Jupiter, said Timmy. The gas planet, said the round alien. Wow, you speak English," said Timmy, surprised. "Call me Jeter," he said. "Okay, Jeter from Jupiter. Let's go home," said Timmy. "Thank you," said Jeter. "Goodbye," said Timmy. Jeter floated to Jupiter and joined his family. "Do you know the next planet?" asked Zuki. "It's the planet with the giant rings, right?" Said Timmy. Yes, and do you know its name? Asked Zuki. Help Timmy name the next planet, the one with the big rings. Saturn, you're home, Saturn Sammy, said Timmy. Sululu sulu, said Saturn Sammy. Then he hugged Timmy tight. Uranus is next. It spins at a funny angle," said Timmy. "So, help Timmy find the alien that stands at a funny angle. It's your turn, your Annie," said Timmy. "Ooru ooru," said your Annie. Neptune is very blue with a dark blue spot," said Timmy. "So, help Timmy find the blue alien with the dark spot. Your turn, blue," said Timmy. Nip, pip, pip," said Blue. "Goodbye, Pluty," said Timmy. "You'll always live on as a real planet to me." Pluty hugged Timmy tight. "Pee pee, pee pee," said Pluty. "Great work," said Zuki. "We did it," said Timmy. "I'm sorry, Timmy," said Zuki. We passed Pluto. We're too far from Earth. We can't take you home. No," said Timmy. "I have to go home." "I'm sorry," said Zuki. <sighs> "I'm so sorry," said Zuki, as spark tears fell from its eyes. Timmy looked into space and he saw something. "What about that?" asked Timmy. "Yes, a comet," said Zuki. That might work. Tom, the terrific space pterodactyl, shot Timmy at the comet. Timmy was getting closer and closer, but the comet was moving faster and faster. Will Timmy make it? Help Timmy fly faster. Say, fly, fly, fly. Yes, Timmy made it. He climbed on the comet like a cowboy on a horse. Yeehaw! He shouted, "Let's go home!" He rode Haley the comet through the solar system. Earth. <laughs> Timmy was home, and Earth and all of the planets were safe again. The end. Subscribe to our channel, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more. For more stories and worksheets, check our website.